Mike, soft falling rain, you purchased the horse from the Cape Premier Yearling Sale. Did he jump out at you straight away? Of course we liked, you know, he, I mean, he was one of those horses pretty easy to like. He wasn't uh, very expensive either, but I suppose National Assembly, a bit old, you know, maybe just going off the boil a bit. Um, but we also liked his pedigree, liked the fact he was out of a Giants Causeway mare. So, yeah, he was, you know, I suppose fairly easy to like and buy. He's really caught the eye from day one. He's seven from seven now. Yes. It takes a special horse to do that. Yeah, especially travelling and his, you know, different surfaces. Um, but he's, he's, a, he's, he's, he's quite, a, quite a tough horse, but he's also still quite young, you know. You know he's only really physically three now and uh, he, he, he got to Dubai a fairly immature three-year-old. He's developed now and certainly since he's come here, he's, he's definitely grown here in, uh, in Newmarket. There's no doubt you can see that. You took, you took him to Dubai, he's kept his record intact, three from three over there. You, you kicked it off with the, the guineas. What were your thoughts after that race? I always had my doubts about the mile, funny enough, and yet, I mean, he romped home, he, there, was, there, was, there was no doubt at all. Um, I thought he beat a fairly decent field, uh, and it you know, sort of gave us quite a, quite a lot of hope. You then went on to the Godolphin Mile, and watching that race, you had to think, three wide punching the breeze, when's he going to yeah. punch out? But no, he didn't. I didn't, you know, listen, when he turned for him, I thought, oh, I'll just run second, you know what I mean? Um, but I mean, I thought when he, when he turns for him, he's just got to peter out of this. I haven't seen also do what he did in Dubai at all. And, I, and he did it, you know, sometimes they can go slow, you can get away with it sitting deep. When you're going fast, you're trying to get there. Um, you're a young horse, you can be intimidated by, the, by all those older horses not giving an inch. The horse that ran second didn't lay down. You know, he, we had to go and get him. So uh, massively encouraging in terms of his, his heart, his temperament. Um, but it was a massive effort that took quite a bit out of him. He must have an incredible will to win though, the horse. He does. A very, very ultra competitive horse. What do you think his best trip is? Sure. Uh, you know, I think he's very effective six furlongs to a mile. Probably at his very best around seven furlongs. But, you know, he clearly is effective at a mile. There's no doubt about it. You've now brought him from Dubai over here to the UK. How did he travel over? He travelled well. You know, he had the month off in Dubai. Um, so. Once we started him off here, you know, it became apparent uh, Ascot was going to come too early, which is unfortunate. But, you know, again, at the end of the day, this is a young horse, he can come back next year. So we certainly, and I mean, you know, you're training for someone like Sheikh Hamdam, he understands. He understands the rigours of, of, of uh, racing horses around the world, the travelling, the horse's age, what's against him, what's for him. So. You know, that, that makes my job a lot easier when you've got someone as understanding as him and Angus to deal with. And, um, you know, when I spoke to him about it, he was, he was fine. Listen, do what's the best for the horse. And the best for the horse was not to wind him up into that race. Um, he's really sort of just getting going. Now, we, we had to really sort of start all over again with him. You know, we got him back here. He started going up the hills and I could see he wasn't, he just wasn't enjoying it. You know, he was uh, getting a little sore in the back, which they can do when you start, you bring them in here. First up, start going up the hills, and um, we just had to back right off and just recondition him again. Looking ahead now, the short-term goal, the July Cup. Yes. We'd think? like to get there. Um, I mean, it's going to be touch and go, um, but, you know, it's it's a race we really, we really wanted to have a crack at, so I hope it happens. It can be a very tricky course, that July course. How do you think you'll handle the undulations and, and the dips and the downhill run there? Yeah, don't, you know, one doesn't know until you try. I mean, we will take him there a few times and have a go over the track, so... Um, hopefully, you know, some good will come of that. One thing we do know is you'll, he's a horse that's going to give 110% every time he goes out. That's it. You know, that's one, th that's one consolation. And that's why I'd like to have him at least very close to 100% when I, when I do step him out. And if he's not right, you know, we just don't, we, we're not going to run him. We don't want to firstly risk his soundness and, uh, and, and his record. And uh, uh, secondly, as I said before, he is still a really, in theory, a young horse.